Okay, I realize I never introduced myself on this channel, so hello, I'm Carter. I'm a filmmaker, a cinematographer in Los Angeles. Today I wanna to talk about my relationship with still photography as a filmmaker. So obviously a big part of my job is creating images, but when you're working on a set, you're generally executing somebody else's vision. And that process is super fun, super exciting. Collaborating with a lot of people and seeing your ideas come together is a really, really cool process. But sometimes I just miss that pure creativity of creating something myself from start to finish. And it's really great to have a sandbox or a place to experiment with your image making. So that's where still photography comes in for me. There was a period of time where I was a paid photographer but since transitioning into filmmaking, I just reserve photography as something for myself. So it's really been helpful for my personal creativity just to reserve photography as a personal creative act. So today I wanna to dive into a little bit about my photography process as a filmmaker. It's a beautiful day in LA and I've been inside most of the day and this is a perfect opportunity for me to take you along as we go take some photos. So let's go. I think the biggest thing that's helped me to actually take more photos in general is having a camera that's convenient for me to carry around. There was a time in my life when I was mostly using an iPhone to take photos, which was very convenient, but obviously came with some compromise. I've always owned some form of DSLR or film camera, but the one thing that really held me back from taking photos was that I didn't want the inconvenience of carrying those larger cameras around with me. A lot of the moments that I wanna capture are just in my day-to-day -day life, so I want a camera that's going to stay out of the way and out of mind until I want to use it. So for me, that's where this camera comes into play. This is probably a familiar camera to a lot of people. It's the Fuji X100. And this is the original, the Mark I. So I picked this up four years ago. I think I paid 300 some dollars for it, which now is a pretty good deal. And one reason I really actually like the original X100 is it's not a $2,000 camera. Like I don't feel bad if I take it out and it smashes against a wall. Like it's very durable. As long as it continues to work for me, you know, I feel happy about it. On that same note, I don't generally like using a neck strap or anything else like that. So I just use a double-sided carabiner that can hook to my belt loop. That way it's there and easy to access when I need it. So that's a little bit about the tech. It's an old camera. I know there's a lot of benefits to the new X100 cameras, but the key for me is that it's small, it's portable, and I just forget that I have it with me. I think for a long time, taking photos felt like a task. Like it felt like something that I needed to do to continue to be creative. But now I've really come around and enjoy the process of taking photos. So let me tell you why I enjoy it so much. I really do love working as a DP. It's pretty amazing just being able to create images for a living. But sometimes you do need to focus on doing other things in the background that are not as exciting. So it's great to have something creative to take that stress away and also just to allow you to experiment in a craft that is adjacent to your work, but not exactly the same. And so for me, photography really scratches that itch. At the end of the day, it's really nice to just go for a walk and see if anything catches my eye. I'll usually just listen to music or listen to a podcast, and that's just a really relaxing and peaceful way to spend an evening. And a lot of times I'll snap quite a few photos, but not always, and sometimes I'll just carry the camera with me, but not take a single photo. I never put any pressure on myself to actually create images unless I'm feeling inspired to, because if I start putting that pressure on myself, it just becomes another task, something else that I need to check off my list. And that adds stress instead of taking it away. For me, a photo walk is almost like a form of meditation. It's a way to de-stress and recenter myself. And I think that's something that's really important to my overall creative process and mental health. I know burnout is a really real issue in this industry, so maintaining hobbies and creative interests outside of work is really important for a good work-life balance and cultivating your creativity. The core of why I got into filmmaking is from a love of storytelling and a love of creating images, and I don't want to see that passion go away. So that's why I continue to take still photos and always try to make it a fun and enjoyable process. 
This is definitely a personal practice for me, so I hope you can take this idea and this concept and run with it and make it your own. As always, you can connect with me in the comments below or on Instagram, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.